I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the official method of unlocking the bootloader for this device, the Galaxy S23 Plus, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Most of us choose to do this so that we can do things like gaining root access with Majisk, installing a custom kernel, or even a completely different firmware by flashing a custom ROM. However, you should be aware that unlocking the bootloader will wipe all of the data from your device, so back up your important information ahead of time. It should also be noted that if you go through with installing any non-Samsung code to this device, it's like installing Majisk for root access, then you will blow the eFuse and that will trip Nox. That will result in you losing access to things like Samsung Health, Secure Folder, Secure Wi-Fi, Private Share, Samsung Pass, and Samsung Wallet, also known as Samsung Pay. Now when you're ready to begin the process of unlocking the bootloader, we first need to enable developer mode on this device. This will reveal a hidden menu within the settings application, and that needs to ena be enabled before we can gain access to it. So if you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, then be sure to check the video description below for a link to a dedicated video that I have already done that covers all of the steps involved. Once that has been enabled, we can dive into the developer options menu from the bottom of the settings application. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit and look for the OEM unlocking toggle. If you don't see this toggle yet, then you likely have just received your device and you're, you're going to need to connect it to the internet via Wi-Fi or a mobile data connection. You will then need to check in with Samsung by seeing if there is a new over-the-air update for you to install. And even if there isn't a new update waiting for you, Samsung servers need to register this device and that is usually how you can force it to happen. So again, while we are in the developer options menu, we have this OEM unlocking toggle. We can tap it and then confirm that we do want to enable OEM unlocking. And after the toggle has been enabled, we then need to boot the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Galaxy S23 Ultra into download mode. This process will work for all three of these devices in the S23 series, so it doesn't matter which one of these phones you currently own. And in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, if you don't know how to boot into download mode, again, check the video description below, and I'll include a link to a video that I have already done that covers all of those steps. Once you see this splash screen here, you can then unplug that USB cable. And now we're going to need to press and hold the volume up button to get us into device unlock mode. After a few seconds, you're gonna see the screen flash like that. And you should go ahead and read all of the text here so that you're, you are aware of what is going on. And then we're going to confirm that we do indeed want to unlock the bootloader by pressing the volume up button, but know that you can go back and press the volume down button to restart and be taken back into Android. So let's press the volume up button to confirm. And this is where the phone is going to be formatted and all of your data is erased. With this completed, the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Galaxy S23 Ultra will reboot on its own, and then you're gonna be taken back to the Android activation screen that you're familiar with. This boot process can take some time, 
and you likely will see it reboot on its own again, but you will be taken to the Android activation screen as shown here. I'm going to skip through all of this so that we are back to the Android home screen. Once you boot back up to the home screen, if you want to double check them to make sure that everything was done correctly, you're going to need to enable developer mode again, then go back into the settings application, scroll down to the bottom so you can go back into the developer options menu, and then look for that OEM unlocking toggle. If your bootloader is already unlocked, you're going to see this grayed out and you're going to be told that the bootloader is already unlocked. So I hope this helped everyone who is curious about how to unlock the bootloader of their Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you ended up getting stuck along the way, then please leave a comment down below to tell me what happened. And I will certainly do my best to reply as quickly as I can.